Welcome to Luxury in Moderation, where we appreciate the finer things in life without going overboard. Today we are back with another Hermes review, and this time it's all about towels. So I did get a couple of different Hermes towels and actually had a quality issue with one of them. So let me go through all the different pieces as well as what happened. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name's Joanne and on this channel, I upload videos about luxury handbags and other luxury lifestyle products like luxury hand towels. So if you like this kind of content, please remember to like this video and subscribe below so you can join me on this channel. So I've had my eye on Hermes towels for a while now. I was looking on the website on the Avalon collection and the ones I was interested were mostly listed in the baby section. Hermes has a whole category where they make a bunch of baby and children products, but they caught my eye because they were super cute and also more affordable. So I'd been stocking this online and finally I decided to go to my boutique and ask my essay to look at some towels because I knew they had them in stock. I actually saw them on display the last time I was there. Um, so this time I was like, Let's go for it. The towel I was most interested in seeing first was the pink version of the Avalon baby bath towel. So I did get it. This is the towel right here. It's a little bit too big to show on screen. Officially, this is called the Avalon bath towel. It's 90 by 120 centimeters. Um, wide and it is 100% cotton and the pink color is officially called rose lilas. At the same time that I had my essay pull out this pink bath towel, I also had her pull out the adult version of their bath towel. So it was this huge white fluffy bath towel. It was bigger than this Avalon pink one and it was all white so wasn't pink at all. It was also I think 100% cotton so very soft but I ultimately liked this pink one better. So before I get into the other towels that I purchased, I also just want to tell you a little bit about using the towel since I have been able to actually use it for a couple weeks now and I think that yes, it is very soft. Actually now going back to some of my other towels, they don't feel as soft, but because this Avalon bath towel is ultimately meant for babies or kids. It is not as long as a normal, I think, adult towel. So what I mean by that is the length of it, when I wrap it around myself, it doesn't go quite as far. So kind of have to adjust based on that. And obviously we're all different shapes and sizes. So towels aren't going to fit the same for all of us anyways. But just something to note that it is shorter, which for me, I have to like work around when I dry myself off. Now the other thing about this bath towel is I also think it sheds a little bit of fluff. Before I started using the towel, I did run it through the washer and dryer because it came like unwrapped. So obviously I wanted to make sure that it was clean before I used it. But even after that, every time I used it, little fuzzies would still come off of it. Um, it wasn't a huge deal. I don't know if this is going to continue happening or if over time, you know, the loose ones are going to be gone and it's just not going to shed anymore. But that's just something to be aware of. I did get one of the fuzzies like stuck in my eye one time. So Again, just be careful and look out for that. Something I do appreciate about the towel is that the two sides are not the same. So on one side, you have a white trim with pink squares on the bottom and then a pink interior. And those pink areas, you have the white H. And then when you turn it around, the other side is actually the opposite. So on this side, you have the pink trim and then the white square on the corner, the white square on the inside, and then the pink H's. I think it's really cute that they had this difference, that they had this detail in the towel so that you can tell which side you're using. <laughs> During the same visit, I also 
purchased some wash cloths. So these are smaller towels that are 32 by 32, also from the Avalon collection. So you can see the same H detailing. Again, each side is different. So you have the white H on the pink square here. And then on the other side, you have the pink H on the white square. So I did get the same rose lilas color in the washcloth to match my bath towel. And at the same time, I also got the blue version of this little washcloth. So I'm gonna play the clip of my unboxing these towels because I did wanna share how they were wrapped up. The large bath towel, it did not come in its own bag. I don't know how they receive it in store, but it doesn't seem like they come in any sort of packaging. I did ask my essay if she could check if there was a new one in the stock room. I do believe she came back with a new one, but it still did not come in any plastic packaging or anything. So the best way she did to wrap that up for me was to just use their generic Hermes wrapping paper and tape it up on the sides. You could also see that the little washcloths did come in a little plastic packaging but I don't have that blue washcloth now because that's the one that I had an issue on. So let's talk a little bit about that. So as soon as I unwrapped these towels, I threw them in the washer and dryer to make sure they were clean before I ultimately used them. And then I decided to go ahead and use my pink bath towel and washcloth first. So I folded up the blue one and put it away. And I did think that it was super cute to have the matching bath towel and washcloth in my bathroom displayed like this. Is this really necessary? Absolutely not. These are expensive luxury items that you, know, you could just go to your Bed Bath & Beyond and get a towel to use. But that's part of the appeal, right? Having these very beautiful looking items in your home to use. So I really enjoyed that for a couple weeks and then, you know, they're ready to go in the wash. And I took out the blue one and discovered that it was ruined. I took it out of my linen closet and saw these threads coming off and I was like, oh my gosh, what happened to this? I hadn't used it at all. I had just run it through the wash. I didn't even notice it when I folded it up and put it in the linen closet. And now that I had finally taken them out to use, it was already messed up. So I was pretty disappointed in that. And, um, my husband was like, oh, well, we should definitely go to the boutique and see if they can exchange it. It's obviously a defect. Whereas I was a little bit more hesitant because I was worried about like, oh, you hear all these stories about, you know, uh, essays not being nice about that. You know, they're going to give you attitude if you try to return stuff. Obviously, that is not very acceptable. And the towel was not in perfect condition, but I was thinking, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Like, it just seems like it's these two threads. I don't think it's going to get worse. Um, maybe we should just live with it. And then I also discovered that I was right outside of that return window because I had kind of like delayed things and not paid attention. Hermes, I think, has a 30-day return policy. Even though I hadn't planned on returning this, I just wanted to exchange it for a non-defective towel that, you know, I was going to get grief over it. But my husband stood strong and was like, no, definitely you should not stand for this. And ultimately we did go back and that is why we have a new Hermes bag here. So basically I did bring that blue Avalon washcloth back to my boutique. I showed it to my essay and she was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe, like, let me try to figure out what to do. I think she immediately wanted to check with her manager to make sure that like they could make it right. Um, seeing if they had something in stock to exchange it for me. Um, unfortunately, her manager had left for the day and I had to wait until she could actually confirm. But she did text me back a couple of days later that they did have one in stock which they could just switch out for me. And, you know, she didn't want me to go through the hassle of, you know, driving to and from the boutique. She was so nice and apologetic about it. She was like, I'm so sorry this has caused you, you know, this much inconvenience that, you know, you had to come by the boutique again and all of that but for me it's actually not that big of a convenience since I'm quite close by so I was like 
no problem, don't even worry about it. She's gonna offer to send it to my house, but I was like, I'll stop by and grab it, no worries. So when I showed up, I did see that she had set the washcloth aside for me. I had in a regular white bag that had my name on it. And then um, she just, you know, quickly put it in an Hermes bag. So now we can unwrap this new Avalon washcloth together. So you can see that this is how the little washcloth comes. The official name of the blue is like a blue glacier. Um, so you can see the tag there. And then the label. So again, of course I am going to wash this one again before I use it. And hopefully there will not be any issues with this one. But it is incredibly soft. I do adore it and I can see why it would be made for a baby. You know, they have such soft, sensitive skin that it is absolutely adorable. Um, I was planning on using these for like hand towels, but my husband was also like, it's a little too nice for that because hand towels can get so like gross. Um, so we actually, I actually use this for my face now um, and it is wonderful for that. For some reason, I don't think that it sheds fluff as much as the big bath towel, at least not the pink one that I have been using for my face so far. So that's been nice. Um, of course, I do worry about staining these. I am kind of careful to check for stains every now and again, but ultimately, for my pieces, I do want to use them. I don't want them to just be sitting there looking pretty and being useless. So I'm very, very happy I picked these up and experienced this. I'm happy that the towels are very soft. Going through that exchange with the blue one, you know, was a little nerve wracking. Um, just again, because I hadn't had to deal with that with my essay before. I didn't know what she would be like. I didn't know what the manager of the store would say. Um, but fortunately for me in this case, I had a really lovely experience that they just exchanged it right away um, and that they had one in stock. Hey guys, so I just took the new blue washcloth out of the dryer since I washed and dried it again and the exact same thing happened. So you can see here that the thread on this right side, for whatever reason, just stopped working, just came out. And it's weird because the pink one is fine and I've washed this one twice already. So you can see it's all fine on both sides, but for whatever reason, the blue one, maybe I got a bad batch and you know, they just sewed this one kind of wonky. Um, this happened again. So I'm going to bring it back to my Hermes boutique tomorrow and we'll see what they say. I mean, it doesn't seem as bad as last time because I guess this is only one and last time it was two, but I'm really not sure what's going on and if I should just leave it alone or you know, ask for a refund or something. What do you guys think? Do I think I need both of these? Not really, of course. I don't even really need one, but they are adorable. I don't know if I would get another bath towel because again, it is a smaller and not the easiest to use. I am gonna leave all the details of all three towels in the description bar below, including the US retail price, so make sure to check down there. Um, but yeah, that was my experience with these Hermes towels. I hope this video was helpful if you were considering one or if you've had experiences of your own with them, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know if they've worked out for you and how you liked using them. Please let me know if you have any other questions I'm super happy to be a resource here for you guys and answer all your questions. So if you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching.